The quarterback battle is on, and the stakes have never been higher for the San Francisco 49ers. John Lynch, the team's GM, recently made it clear that Brock Purdy is the frontrunner for the QB1 position, leaving Trey Lance in the rearview mirror. With Purdy seemingly on the verge of claiming the top set, the question on everyone's mind is, why him? What has Purdy done to win the heart of the 49ers brass? Today, we'll unpack the reasons behind this decision and explore why the 49ers prefer Brock Purdy over Trey Lance as QB1. Hello everyone, welcome to The Reasons, and in this video, we will look at all the reasons why the 49ers prefer Brock Purdy over Trey Lance as QB1. But before we begin, we would like you guys to subscribe to the channel, like this video, and hit that notification bell icon so you do not miss out on amazing and entertaining content. When it comes to Trey Lance, his football journey hasn't exactly followed a traditional path. From high school to college, and now in the NFL, he hasn't played as many games as some other seasoned quarterbacks. We have to look at his career from a wider perspective to understand what he brings to the table. Growing up in Marshall, Minnesota, he showcased remarkable talent during his high school days, throwing for over a thousand yards, 11 touchdowns, and only two interceptions. His skill earned him recognition as the best quarterback prospect in Minnesota. After high school, Lance committed to North Dakota State, where he redshirted his freshman year but emerged as the starting quarterback in 2019. The young prodigy led the Bisons to the 2020 NCAA Championship game, where he was rightfully crowned the MVP. His 2019 season was nothing short of spectacular, putting up video game-like numbers with over 2,700 passing yards, 28 touchdowns, and zero interceptions. Not to forget, he also rushed for over 1,000 yards and scored 14 touchdowns in 2020. Lance's college brilliance caught the attention of the NFL, leading him to declare for the 2021 draft. The San Francisco 49ers saw immense potential in him and made him the third overall pick. In his rookie year, Lance played six games, showing flashes of brilliance with over 600 passing yards, five touchdowns, and only two interceptions. However, he spent most of the season behind Jimmy Garoppolo, learning the ropes and understanding the offense. With the 2022 season on the horizon, the 49ers decided to hand over the reins to Lance, believing in his abilities to lead the team. There was an air of excitement and anticipation surrounding his performance, partly fueled by his mind-boggling college numbers. Comparisons to Patrick Mahomes were not far-fetched, but alas, fate had different plans. In his first two games as a starter, Trey Lance suffered a season-ending ankle injury against the Seahawks, abruptly halting his momentum. The road to recovery was grueling, as he underwent two surgeries to mend his broken ankle and remove irritating shrapnel. Now, the 49ers face uncertainty about his mobility and playing style post-injury. Looking at Lance's career as a whole, he has only played 27 games since college, leaving the 49ers in a quandary about his true potential. Despite the investment made in him, the shadows of uncertainty loom large due to his limited experience and the setbacks of injuries. On the other hand, Brock Purdy's journey at Iowa State has been quite different. He played a staggering 48 games as a starter, racking up impressive stats of over 12,000 passing yards, 81 touchdowns, and 33 interceptions, along with 19 rushing touchdowns. Despite his impressive college career, Purdy's NFL draft experience was quite the opposite. He was the last pick of the 2022 NFL draft, leaving many unfamiliar with his potential. Purdy's path to the NFL was challenging, starting as the third-string quarterback. However, fate intervened, and his moment in the spotlight arrived when injuries sidelined the starters. Against all odds, Purdy stepped up and delivered an unforgettable performance, earning his place in history. The tale of Brock Purdy's 2022 season is nothing short of a fairy tale turning into a gripping saga. Purdy stepped into the limelight, playing in five games and delivering some jaw-dropping performances. He threw over a thousand yards and 13 touchdowns during the regular season, and in the postseason, he continued to dazzle with over 569 passing yards, three touchdowns, and zero interceptions. The crowd was in awe, and it seemed like destiny has written a beautiful script for him. However, like any epic story, there comes a moment of challenge and adversity. In the NFC Championship against the Eagles, Purdy faced a UCL injury in his elbow, and the enchanting tale took an unexpected turn. But the question remains, why did the Niners choose Purdy over Lance? The answer lies in the transformational power of his presence on the field. Forget the stats and scheming, the Niners' offense undergoes a remarkable metamorphosis under Purdy's command. 
They have long yearned to shift into second gear, and with Purdy at the helm, they finally hit that sweet spot. Debo Samuel shines brighter, George Kittle becomes phenomenal, and Christian McCaffrey plays like a top-tier running back. Sure, Purdy might not be the flashy, dynamic quarterback like Lamar Jackson, Josh Allen, or Patrick Mahomes. We wouldn't label him as a mere game manager either. He exudes confidence, and his gameplay resembles that of Joe Burrow, oozing with that unmistakable self-assurance. Purdy coolly stays in the pocket, unleashing laser-like throws and dishing out precise passes that leave everyone awestruck. It's not just the fans who feel the magic, the entire team senses it too. Postseason interviews reveal a different vibe in the locker room. There is an air of belief and excitement that they have finally found the quarterback who can elevate them to new heights. While Purdy has displayed his prowess in five games, including the postseason, Lance's potential remains untapped. Brock Purdy's rise has been nothing short of remarkable. From being mystery relevant in the NFL draft, he quickly became the center of attention, and he deserves every bit of credit for that. Purdy displayed a level of skill and confidence that made him look like a seasoned NFL veteran. He executed plays flawlessly, placed the ball with precision, handled pass protection like a pro, and seemed to excel at everything he did on the field. It's no wonder that John Lynch and the entire organization have immense faith in him. Meanwhile, Trey Lance found himself in a rather unfortunate situation. He had high hopes of becoming the starter in 2022, but fate had other plans. With Jimmy Garoppolo still in the picture, Lance had to play the waiting game. It's a tough spot for a young quarterback eager to prove his worth. Both Purdy and Lance are incredibly young talents. They have a vast NFL career ahead of them, and the offseason offers ample time for growth and development. Purdy, despite coming off a major injury, has proven himself on the field. On the other hand, Lance's injury has kept him sidelined for a significant period, making his return timeline uncertain. As of now, Purdy has been named the starter, but that doesn't mean the story ends there. The NFL landscape is ever-changing, and things can take unexpected turns. Trade rumors surrounding Lance are swirling, but it's yet to be seen where he ends up. Whether he stays with the 49ers or moves on, there's still hope for Lance to shine in the league. The concern with Lance lies in his limited game experience and injury history. It's not easy to gauge his true potential with so few games under his belt. Consequently, his trade value may have taken a hit, but that doesn't mean he doesn't have a future in the league. The offseason and upcoming season will reveal more about his capabilities. Both quarterbacks have exciting journeys ahead in the NFL, and only time will reveal the heights they can reach. And there you have it, the compelling reasons why the San Francisco 49ers have shown their preference for Brock Purdy as QB1 over Trey Lance. We want to hear from you in the comments section below. Do you agree with the 49ers' decision to go with Purdy, or do you think Lance should have been given more time and opportunities? Share your thoughts, opinions, and predictions about the future of these talented quarterbacks. And if you want to see more of these types of videos, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss an upload. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.